Today we have another pack from the Ash Store. This time we're looking at the Monster Truck Physics Pack. We'll take a look at how to get set up with the pack and to set up your own monster truck. So let's jump straight in. Okay, so we're in Unity and we'll open the package manager and we will find the pack and download and then import. And we'll install the dependencies that come with the pack. And then we'll import. So now that that's done, we'll head to Ash Assets, Ash Monster Truck Physics Demo Scene, and we'll open the scene. And you'll get the prompt to import TMP Essentials and the examples. We can close that. And this is the demo scene that comes with the pack. So if we're to hit play, you'll see that it's not much of a controller out of the box. So there's a few things we need to set up before we get started. So we'll head to Edit, Project Settings. So the first one we have is the Input Manager. So if we hit on this little tab here, we can import the presets. And the next one we want is the Physics. Again, hit that little tab and import the preset. And then the last one is the Tags and Layers. So this one will have the layer for the drivable game objects. So we'll import the preset on that also. And now if we hit play again, you'll see it actually drives how it should now. And it's a great little arcade style pack. So next up, we'll have a look at how to set up our own vehicle using this pack. So to do that, we will install the Toon Racing Pack by Six Games. So now that we've got the pack ready to go, we will remove the existing vehicle and we'll drag in the vehicle that we want to use and we'll unpack the prefab. And the next thing to note is if you have any colliders or rigid bodies or anything like that attached to your vehicle, they need to be removed before you set it up. So in this case, I just have the mesh collider and then I don't have any, any colliders on the wheels currently. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is go to Tools, Ash Monster Truck Physics, and then you'll get this window pop up. So I've gone into Ash Assets, Ash Monster Truck Physics, Prefabs, and then we'll find which one of these you want to use as your preset. So we'll use this one here, and then we'll start setting everything up. So for your monster truck body, it's the parent of your vehicle. And then for your wheels, as these are the suspension here, if we open them up, we have the wheels here, so we will assign them appropriately, front left, front left, front right, rear left, rear right. Now the axles, this specific vehicle does not have the axles separated from the body, so if that's the case for you, you can just leave them blank and it will have no impact on the vehicle. And then the last thing we want to do is assign the body mesh, which is this one here. And then a wheel mesh, and you can just use any of the wheels for that. And then we'll click create monster truck. Okay, so when it comes to the collision, if we just look at the documentation here, you can see that this is the best way to set up your collider so that your wheel is able to touch a wall to then be able to drive up walls or do flips. So this is what we want to try and achieve with our vehicle. So if we have a look currently, there's not a great deal of our wheel showing there. So we'll just manually adjust this a little bit. So under our newly created truck here, we have a body collider. And we can just manually adjust the size here a little bit. As long as we have a little bit of our back wheel and a little bit of our front wheel. And then we'll also adjust the height a little bit. And then we'll bring it up just a touch. So then as we've used a different preset for this, it's named it after it. So we'll just rename it to whatever we want. In my case, I'll just call it the Red Menace. And then in the prefabs for your Ash Monster Truck Physics or wherever you want to save it. And we'll just drag it down, save it as a prefab. So now if we hit play, our vehicle is ready to go. And you can see we can do some pretty good flips. So then just to get everything working in our own scene, we'll just make a prefab of the main camera just to make things a bit easier. And then we'll head to the scene that we want to use. In this case, I'll use the Toon Racing scene, the demo scene that comes with that pack. Now if we head back to the Ash Assets and into the prefabs, we'll drag in our new truck. And then we'll drag in the Skidmark controller and the main camera. So then if we hit play, we're up and running pretty easily in our own scene. And you can do your flips on your walls. 
So overall, it's a pretty good pack. It's a nice arcade feel monster truck pack. If you found the video useful, then why not give it a like? If you want to see more content like this, then subscribe to the channel. If there is anything specific you want to know about the pack, then let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.